Okay. Did you have copies, Tina? Or no? I left one for you. Sorry? I left one for you. That's the old one. No, maybe it is. But it wasn't. It was over there. Thank you. Okay. Um, I was in this bathroom uh, when a woman came in. While there, she while there she grabbed a handle or something on the wall, which fell and broke on the floor. It was glass, so the glass shattered and scattered on the floor. There were several pieces, and it was dangerous to leave it there if someone came in. A few minutes passed. I was at the mirror, and then I went to leave and saw the woman didn't clean up the mess she made. I had expected her to return and clean it up, but she hadn't returned. She just walked out as if nothing happened. I thought I would find her and tell her to clean up her mess. I didn't want anyone to walk in and be surprised, so I went to look for her, but couldn't find her. But before I did, I thought I would put a note on the door. I didn't have anything to pick up all the mess. I was also concerned that the small pieces were worse so I thought picking up the large pieces would disguise the problem. I saw this booklet, but then I went through it. There were no blank pages. Then I found one and tore out a sheet and put it up against the bathroom door. I closed the door. The note to read was, the note was to read, don't enter bathroom and repair. I walked to to see if I could find the woman, but turned and remembered I didn't write the words. So I went back and saw the paper was among others on the door and didn't stand out as it should. So I needed to get a marker and take the other stuff down. I started to do that. You want the next dream? No. no okay. Okay, uh, what do you see on the dream? Um, well, I think the first line, uh, there, I knew it was dangerous, but I had expected her to return and clean it up, but she hadn't. So I think that's the, before that, it's just an occurrence, something's occurring. But then she didn't, uh, I was, I was, you know, I, I saw it happen and then I went to do what I needed to do with the mirror and fix my uh, face, etc. But when I turned around, I, I, I saw that it was on the floor. And what is the role of I this? was rather surprised that she hadn't picked it up. Or I assumed that she would have. I mean, I just kind of let her, you know, went about my business while, but discovered that she hadn't. What do you make of the dream then? Well, I'm assuming something's going to happen. I'm resting my, uh, well, I, I don't. Um, hmm. It's assuming or expectation. Oh. Yeah. So, right. um, huh. It seemed kind of a natural one, like it was her issue. She, she did the, she created the problem. And I thought she would. Clean it up.
Well, I see that as one area, then later on there's another couple of areas, so. But, um, I'm expecting or assuming certain things are going to happen uh, regarding people's behavior, and, and, and they're not going to do it. That's what I see. So, then there is an original danger, right? And the da yeah, and, no, and, no, and whatever no. they're doing is dangerous, or they're leaving danger. They created it, and they're leaving it. Uh, what happened to that dangerous situation? Well, I left it. I mean, I went to find her. But I, ha I put a note on the door so no one would walk in. To pick it up, I was a little, I could pick up the large pieces, but I, I wouldn't be able to pick up the smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it required. Uh, what happened to the dangerous situation? It was left in the bathroom. What does that mean? It needed to be fixed. But. In terms of the drama, and you're in the drama. Did you then get a, another goal? Well, I went to look for her, no. but... Is that then your energy going? Yeah, I was I was annoyed at her for for leaving it that way, just walking out and leaving it that way. No, well. Uh, so I thought it was important that she clean it up. That it wasn't a good idea for her to just walk away, not knowing or not or or yeah. No. So, uh, looks like there are two, two things you're, pre right? There's an original danger, mm -hmm. and now you're on the pursuit. Is that right? Yeah. Huh? Right. But I wanted to make sure that no one went in there. Well then, uh, that ends up having uh, a new object? Well, I didn't have an object in the first place. No, 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 you had broken glass. Right. So what happened to that dangerous broken glass scene? It was, it stayed there. No, 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 it stayed there, but you got another task. Right? Yeah, the lady needed to right. come back and, and clean right. it up. Right, so. So how would you say you are functioning? What? Well, I, I don't. I don't like the way I'm functioning, like I know it has to be cleaned up. But at the same time, I'm annoyed that this woman left it that way, as if it was okay. And I didn't think that was right either. So I wanted to protect anybody going into the bathroom, at the same time make the other lady aware that she needed to correct her error. Did you answer the question I posed? How are you functioning? No, I just didn't, I didn't like either one. Pardon me, how are you functioning in the dream, whether you like it or don't like uh -huh. it?
Well, I'm, I don't see them functioning much. I'm, I'm not cleaning up the mess. And I didn't find the lady, or I was about, I, you know, I went out to find her, but I had to make sure, I remembered that I want to make sure that nobody, I don't know how I'm functioning, trying to correct somebody's errors. And protect others. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Did th that answer the question of function? Yeah. Uh, uh, what was no. it like? What was no. it like for, for going through this task you gave yourself? You were annoyed. Yeah, I didn't like it. Right? Uh, she thought it was okay. I didn't like it. No. And to you, it's important. She. You should clean it up. So yeah, it therefore, that, right. that, that became your task. Yeah. Right. Right. That, that had power. Sort of. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't any. I like. I didn't like any of it. I didn't like the first thing. I didn't but, like. But I mean, it did carry you along on a task. Right. I had a question whether I should even care about what she did and just clean it up. But, myself. But that didn't have an overriding role in this dream. No, but I was in a conflict about it. Okay, you can still be in a conflict about it while you were functioning as something. Yeah, I, that's true. I went ahead and decided that it was better to go and find her rather than take care of it myself. Well, what kind of people do that kind of thing? There was something that was done that was... Dangerous. Dangerous, right? Could be... Um, I don't know, a policeman? I have no idea. Doesn't well, even sound of, right. Yeah. Uh, Let's see, there's something that went on that was dangerous, she broke the glass, is that some violation of something? Yeah. Right? And you're out to correct it, to capture her and bring her back or yeah. something. What that would you would call it? Be like that? a policeman. What? Like a policeman. Oh, 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 okay. What kind of a policeman? An educated one, <laughs> educating one. I wanted to, or somebody to make her aware of that. Uh. Not not just to capture, but to bring her back and have yeah, her correct yeah. it. Yeah, 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 right, right. So this person over here, right? Your well, goal I is to, to get her I guess it's and to, bring her back, right? Well, I guess get it's... Get her alive. I guess it's to make her aware that her her behavior Is of dismissal is not right. So. And that seemed to have a greater importance than clearing up the broken glass. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. In the dream. Yeah, at that time, yes. No, no. I may not have found her, but at least I tried, so I would probably go back and. I knew it had to be cleaned up, but. If, as long as people didn't go in there, it'd be fine. Well, but the note you left on the door had no writing on it, so. Well, I went back and put it on there. Yeah, so therefore during this time, uh, until you returned. Oh, it was just briefly. I just walked out, well, went a couple of steps, and then, wait a minute, I came back and saw. So here's the note. No writing on it. Right. So how are you doing? Well, I think that would be more of a distraction. Like, I'm caught up in trying to, uh, annoyed, rather than um, addressing the, putting the, putting the Yeah, what's that issue? like, this annoyance? That does, I think you're right. That plays a certain heavy role in this, yeah. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, what's that like? 
points. Huh? Um, and the drain. You're annoyed. I'm. No, I am annoyed. Hmm? Uh, what's it like? It's. Well, I, I mean, I don't like it. It feels like there's an injustice going on, and well, I'm responsible somehow. I'm, or I'm being left for as being responsible. And the other person is yeah, what's that totally like? indifferent. What's that like? So, so something went on that was unjust, and now you're responsible, even though you didn't break the glass, but you have that. You're responsible. Uh, what's that like in the dream? Well, I'm being forced to. Hmm? Being forced? I'm being forced to take care of somebody's issues. when they're totally um, oblivious, I mean like it's totally dismissive or indifferent maybe. Yeah. What's that like when you get that sense that you're being dismissed, dismissal? When the situation is dismissed? Yeah. Yeah. I get annoyed. I don't like it. What? I, I, I don't like it. It's like... You're familiar with it. Do you have good words on it some more? Um, like you're being... Well, she's I... She's dismissing. She's dismissing the danger that could happen to and anybody. And the effect it has Me. on you is and you object to her being dismissive. But what, what does or that do to you? You see, that's what we want to see if we can get. Indifferent. Yeah, she dismissal and she's indifferent. What does um, that do to you in the dream? Makes me angry. What? <laughs> makes me annoyed. But see, we're still back to that. See? Indifferent. This, yeah, that's back to being annoyed. So there's quite a bit in this word annoy, isn't there? Right. Yeah, I didn't like the, just um, a, kind of a blanket, uh, well, it's, it's cruel. Uh, which one is cruel? Her. But she, she's not doing anything, she's, but, and. She's not doing anything? But, well, she's, you don't see that she's doing anything in particular. Uh, it's cruel for her to be dismissive and indifferent, is that what you mean? To what she did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. She... And it's your job, right? It's your job. You see an injustice and you're responsible. Well, that's what apparently I was left with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I mean, like, in order to that indifference and that, res that dismissal leaves responsibility on those that see what's going on or see that there's a danger and, and, they're, and they're being left with the task to clean it up. Yeah, I'll go back now. Uh, just read the first line. I had a question about that. I think you can read it for me. Go ahead. I was in this bathroom when a woman came in. No, go ahead. While there, she grabbed a handle or something on the wall, which fell and broke on the floor. It was glass, so the glass shattered and scattered on the floor. 
there were several pieces and it was dangerous to leave it there if someone came in. Yeah. And then the next line then? A few minutes passed. Uh, so what are you doing after this event took place? I was at the mirror. Yeah, what was that like? So you look into the mirror during this period. Yeah. yeah, I had expected it to be cleaned up. I didn't even pay attention to her. I, I saw her drop it and I went about doing what, what was I was it, doing. What was it like in the dream to look in the mirror? Look, I don't have a clear a, image. A, a dangerous thing took place. Mm -hmm. right. And you're looking in the mirror. Right. I don't remember what I saw. I mean, I'm just fixing makeup. Yeah, but fixing you, know, makeup. you knew the dangerous thing went on. Yeah, I saw you, it. Yeah, you didn't respond immediately to that. You were now looking in the mirror. Right. What was that like, looking in the mirror? I don't recall much. I just, I don't recall it. It just, that I, there was a kind of a moment of, I, I think it was just that it, there was a moment of dark, kind of a blank state. Like, dark, blank? Yeah, like it wasn't, uh, the only reason I say that is because when I turned around and saw that she hadn't cleaned it up, um, I had lost, you know, like I was, I saw it happen, I went back to what I was doing and then turned around and saw that. But in that interval, uh, she got away. Yeah, she left. Yeah. Well, you're looking in the mirror. Well, I didn't. In terms of the dream. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's true. Yeah, I got to. I wasn't distracted. I was just doing what I was there for. And uh, now the the broken glass has a secondary role as you take on the role of being a policeman or something like a policeman, is that right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. And there's an obligation to do that. I'm responsible. Uh, you find that curious that you're responsible? Like that's a role, that's a role, isn't it? Yeah. It's not that I'm curious about it, it's more like I'm annoyed being left in that situation. But as that leads you to behave or how you function. But I ha yeah, because it's like if I cleaned it up on my own, the woman wouldn't know that. She, she left her mess, I'd clean it up and it made her then capable of doing other things in the same way without ever, ever being confronted yeah, with that's it. that's right. You want, you, you, you want to force her to, to, to see, right? Bring her back, make her aware that's right. of her, right? So that's a moral issue, isn't it? Like I want to make her to be aware. So yeah. you're a policeman with a, what kind of a role? I guess a moral one. Yeah, yeah, moral cop. Yeah, I'm a moral cop. Yeah. And it's your responsibility, right? You got that job. Right. Yeah, without ever getting paid. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where does that come from? I don't know. Well, it's occupying quite a bit of... Yeah, it is.
Uh, mm -hmm. When was the dream? Two days ago. Uh, were you doing something like this a couple of days ago? On the quest for righting a wrong, show us some injustice, and it's up to you to make someone aware of what they're doing? Or? Because there's other words we could use that might fill this in a little more. Moral policeman. Uh, volunteer, volunteer, right, volunteer. Go ahead. What do you say? I said, I don't know. Well, one, uh, can you identify with the state of mind, being annoyed? And, uh, But I don't have a, you know, I mean, I, I there's nothing that really stands out. I mean, I mm, can't tell. I don't know. I mean, like, I'm annoyed at some things that happen at work. I'm annoyed at, um, was there that role playing? Um, there's a couple of situations I, that um, there was a kind of a, an attitude by a couple of people that were not, um, suggested an indifference, but to be forced to uh, correct them. Yeah. Um, or to deal with them, or to make them aware. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's very strange. I just, mm -hmm. I don't see the forcing to make them deal with it, but um, well, there is an annoyance. Well, you're yourself, you're not forcing someone else. Mm -hmm. Because you never engage that person. Um. No. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm being. I have to be responsible for what I what other people are not doing. What's that like? You got it. What do you think of that? Or they're not they're not coming forth or they're not able to put words things or talk about it or yeah it's like i'm responsible for that good or in a sense that right that's enough Wait a minute. Yeah. I'm, re I'm responsible for that what they are doing i feel responsible for that that's right that's what the dream that's is saying that's pretty much too. it yeah where does that come from because well, that's got a long history, so. Good. Then you're seeing something. So I'd have to. Um, what? And and you have to be watchful. But I'm thinking, I mean, my history is that I am res I'm supposed to be responsible for others um, ignoring or dismissing or being indifferent to. That goes back home. Oh yeah. 
Hmm? Yeah. And if I wasn't, then there's danger, or danger is always left. But I don't see it in the past couple of days. I don't see it. Well, are you on any uh, crusade? Am I on a crusade? No, it's a crusade. crusade. Knighthood. Not that Righting I'm... a wrong, is it? A kind of crusade kind of thing? <clears throat> Trying to draw? Well, just... Yeah, I see it. I just don't see where. I just, you know, like... I mean, like I'm doing a study. Is that writing or wrong? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. I don't know. But you do I mean, see it has its origin back home. Right. But you don't see its manifestation in your present. Mm -hmm. Right? No. Oh, that's, okay. <laughs> that's, that's weird. That's curious, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Um, like I don't have anything. I mean, I see indifferences, but no, no, am no. I interested in righting the wrong? Maybe I would like to. That could be. But don't. I mean, that's possible. I'd like to correct th certain things. Looks like now you're recalling something similar. There are certain things that work I would like corrected or like to, you know, like that was treated in kind of an indifferent kind of way. Not kind of, but was, yeah. See, the issue is, look her. <clears throat> but I don't, so, so I didn't Just do to make sure. See, is this the way to make someone aware of what they're doing? That's behind the issue here, you see. Your motive may in fact be positive, but look at the way you're doing it. I don't understand. What is the well, way of doing it? See, wouldn't it be nice that you caught her to find out how you would then try to make her aware of her dismissal attitudes and behavior? That's the goal. I want to get her back for a purpose, not to clean up the mess, right? But you want to make her aware of something, don't you? Well, do both. I don't mind. And in the Put the both in there. Then it isn't that you just want to make clean up. No. That no, that 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 she moral. Left, Yeah. That she she left something that was not right. And uh, is this a good way to teach morality then? Well, I don't know how else in the dream you could have. Well, I mean, like, so just, just take do? a look at it. Is this the way in which you can make someone aware of someone? By just focusing on the whatever you're going to do? Uh, well, I guess you could ignore it and just clean it up myself and forget about well, it. That's not the issue, so we're now dealing with your motive. I want to do this because not only to clean the place up, but I want to make her aware of the seriousness of where right, that's what's a happening. high teaching, isn't it? To try to make someone aware of something. Um. Like you're not just going to arrest someone who did something wrong. No. Right? It's a moral. You want to teach her. It's a teaching too. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know, yeah, it seems like that would be reasonable to do.
Yeah. That's why I am raising the question of, so, what is the way to make someone aware of, of something that they're not uh, aware well, of? Well, I would have, it would have been nice to have talked to her immediately if I was there and said, hey, uh, you know, um, what happened but when you, you broke the, the glass? You were looking in the mirror. The I time. went, I went, when she, I saw her do it and then went to the mirror. I could have said, uh, yeah. what, what happened? Right. Or, uh, right. So that's a key moment. Or just stay, stay there and see whether she's going to do anything. No, I expected her to do it, so I went back to doing what I was doing. Yeah. And when you're surprised at the failure of your expectation, it turns into this well, drama. Yeah, I just don't, it's very puzzling, I don't know. I'm not getting any insight or any kind of thinking either, so I'm not sure at all. Seems but, but you do Impressive. see that it did play a role early in your life, and now you're wondering why you have to look at it now in a dream. No, yeah, that's good. Clueless. No. No. No idea. It's broken glass. <laughs> hmm? I said it's broken glass. I don't know. Just nothing's coming to me, not even the what happened two days ago, except just as I said, a couple of people at work. But what was, it, come on, what was it like? What was your intention with these people at work? I didn't have any, in, well, I guess I could have said, well, I didn't like that, but I wasn't, I, it, it was more like, Passive. It wasn't something that I wanted to do towards them, or that I'm aware that I wanted to do. I didn't like what was going on, but I didn't think that I could do anything. I just was very passive and just said, okay, well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> that's what I, those are the things I'm thinking about, but I don't have it that I turn around and have a moral well, justice. Well, you know, it looks like uh, if it's not this way, if it's not this way, uh, you're not, you don't do anything. Even though you're faced with, again, annoyance at least two occasions. Well, the only thing I can think of that's even remotely clear is, you know, some, I read some of the news articles on the web, you know, and it's like I get annoyed at some of the stupidness of of what I read. The question is, what are you paying for that annoyance? Does that block your interest? Does that end your exploration? Uh, what does it do? Does it, see, does it, that's the issue. I think it's a tangent, but <laughs> huh? I, it, it's like Little in some credit. crazy kind of way, I wish I had the energy to do that. You to know, do what? To go and say, hey, look, this is what you did. You know, like I wish I could have said, okay, look, let me go and correct this. Instead of being passive. Hmm. But <laughs> I didn't. I mean, I, the two incidences that I had, I didn't do anything. Hmm. So I... Yeah. So far as you know, you can't come up with what appears to be an event where you're so annoyed at someone that you react as if you're an immoral policeman going to right or wrong and try to make them aware of whatever it is you just like about their behavior, right? That's fair. I can only think of um, 
some fantasies I've had recently that deal with talking to people on the HOA board. That's the closest I can are get. The, are there fantasies of this nature? Yeah, forcing them to wake up. Yeah. So at the you see that it does play a role in your fantasy life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, that could that could be. And that's taking you away from looking well, that, for alternate ways of dealing with something like this. Mm. Yeah, I would say that probably represents more of the fantasy life. Because when I'm thinking about all the what the HOA is doing. And that no. was Wednesday. And you know how often it is when people's fantasies end up being a model for their behavior. I, is this a model of my behavior? I don't know. And you do know from other scenes and talks for people that there's a relationship between someone's behavior and the fantasies that they have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, well, that's why I think I brought it up. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Thank you. Well, Go ahead. I, I, I think you had a little incident with me tonight where you, you had this going on. Good. I have to pay $1,400 or something. <laughs> Did I wake up? I'm not sure to what. You never told me what I was asleep to. I was being punished. Ah, this is pure gin. Yeah, I heard pineapple. I was on a date with this girl, Adriana. We were walking up the stairs and I kind of playfully grabbed at her, swiped at her arm as if I was trying to catch her. She started running away and we were pretending that, and I was chasing her. Uh, I was catching her by the arm and by the leg. I caught her by the leg and she let me catch her. She was standing a couple of steps above me and I had her by the leg and then I ended up kind of hugging her leg. She kissed my forehead and I kissed her leg. That was the first time we expressed any intimate affection. Then we made it up to the top of the stairs, which was kind of a lookout spot overlooking the ocean. We were hugging each other and kissing each other's cheeks, getting more and more comfortable showing affection. We were holding each other and her head was on my shoulder. She was whispering or murmuring something. It was really quiet. It sounded like she wanted, she wanted something or she was making some kind of request in a very shy kind of way. I thought it was funny how quiet she was and that I couldn't hear. I noticed the ocean and the waves and I said, wow, look how beautiful that is. I kind of let go of her hug and I was pointing to the sea. I looked at her again and she was looking at me and her face was really beautiful and glowing, kind of blushing, because we were just hugging. She was still trying to say something. I said, it's so funny, I didn't understand anything you said before. And she was like, oh, but, and there was more murmuring. Uh, and I said, because it was so quiet and I didn't even hear. She kept talking and she wants me to go she wants me to go with her to some place that she's going to in a couple of weeks. 
As I was looking at her, I was feeling really light, full of energy. I was almost dizzy, but not really. I was wondering if it was because she's such a spiritual kind of being or creature that she breathed all this energy into me. I also wondered whether I was dreaming. Then I asked her where the place that she was going to was because I was thinking that I can't really leave the States if she's going to South America. Then we headed up the stairs to the apartment. I wanted to be somewhere private with her. She started sprinting up the stairs really fast and I was chasing her thinking, wow, this girl has a lot of energy. When I got to my door, she was already there and sitting on the stairs up above the door and I grabbed her by her feet and pulled her down playfully. It was funny and she was laughing. Yeah. What do you make of the dream? <clears throat> um, it, it, it's, it's really um, kind of light-hearted all the way through. Mm. And there's... Um, no reason to have to dream. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's nice about some dreams, they just don't have any meaning. Yeah. Um, no, I think, oh, no. I okay. think there is some meaning. What do you see? Come on. Um, I don't know, I was... Um, At, at first I thought um, maybe I was being, uh, like I wasn't being sensitive, sensitive enough to her. When? When she was um, trying to say something. But then she ended up telling me anyway. Yeah. So it worked out. Mm -hmm. I, I think maybe you should look at it again. Which, which part? Just go <laughs> Third paragraph. Read it again. Visualize it as if you're in the dream, though. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> I noticed the ocean and the waves. That's enough. What was going on before that? The paragraphs one and two. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> um, yeah, what? <laughs> I feel like um, all up until that point, it was it was building. Yeah, yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. And it was it was we were becoming more and more um, intimate. Intimate, and then um, and then I kind of I, it's kind of like I I dropped out of it. Oh. And said what? And started looking at the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that had a nice effect, though, didn't it? Um, Two things. Come on, that's one. Go ahead. Effect? Just read it as if you're in the dream. Go ahead. I said, wow, look how beautiful that is. I kind of let go of her hug. What do you do? I let go of her hug. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, with, you're rather close up to this point. And now what do you let go of? The hug. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. It's kind of... Um, it's kind of like a... It's like I... Uh, hmm. Kind of let go of her hug. Just the ocean and the waves, and I said, no. <clears throat> "No, hold that and keep reading it with that in mind." Okay, go ahead. I kind of let go of her hug, and I was pointing to the sea. I looked at her again, and she was looking at me, 
And her face was really beautiful and glowing. Look, that's uh, another what kind of stuff. She now looks, come on. She now looks beautiful. And, oh, come and on. She was like, her face was really um, like blushed and uh, she just looked gorgeous like a... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then what did you do at that point? Um, Um, she, she was still trying to say something, and I said, it's so funny, I didn't understand anything you said before. Uh, that's very thoughtful. Yeah. I'm making fun of her. Oh, oh, what's yeah. that? <laughs> and that's called making fun of her? Yeah. No, that's, that's called, called, what is it called again? Making what? Fun of her. Make, oh, okay, then I was making fun of her. Which is quite appropriate, isn't it? I mean, everybody does that. <laughs> it's, um, I mean, it's something that I do. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't think but, it's, it's but, good. But it's a, it a, goes a higher step. And you, you, what effect do you think that might have on the uh, young lady? Uh, me saying that? Yeah. Uh, well, it, it's not, um, I mean, it's not supportive. No, oh, it's, okay. That just, it's just to put not it, supportive. To put it mildly. What? No, don't that, put it mildly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's, uh, the effect it might have is like, it kind of, um, it kind of like, sh got it. shuts her down. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 good. I'll put that down. jabs, yeah, jabs jab. and, uh, Put it down. Yeah. Right, right, put it down. No, yeah, that's good. No, it's not good. No? No. I was going to use this as a model. Oh, shit. I mean, that's like that's the time when I should be most oh. Empath oh. empathetic. And yeah, but what's it like, though, when you're doing that at that line? Come on. Uh, <clears throat> see, this is one state of mind here. See, this is better. What's it like? Uh, Come on. Um, What's it like putting her down, shutting her down? It's oh, kind of it? like I, I feel uh, I feel superior to her. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And they're like. Um, I'm um, it's kind of like a this this power play. Like yeah, I feel. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and it often happen helps this kind of intimacy. No. 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 Good heavens! I was going along with you all the time. It really doesn't help at all. Oh, <laughs> where does that come from? Now you got it. Um. <coughs> What's well, that costing you? Well, I have something that happened last night. Mm -hmm. uh, was this exactly, and it just escalated really quickly mm -hmm. because it was with a. Um, I just met this girl, mm -hmm. and um, it was a very quick interaction, mm -hmm. but it went really bad really quickly because <laughs> because of, of this. <clears throat> Where uh, does it come from? Or do you want to say that's what I want to do and everything's okay? No, I don't no. want to do that. It, it, it totally, um, it, it seems to always come at high points. Yeah. Like, uh, like this girl that I met yesterday, she was a, a type of girl that I'm really interested in. And um, it was a great interaction the way it started. And it went, it was great. And then I, I did that. Hmm. Where does it come from? Remember, right? Said more words. Superior to her power. Yeah, that's normal. Come on, what else? What's it like? It's like uh, at that moment. Come on. It's like, it's, <laughs> it's jabby. 
Who are you going to try to I have to, my dad, my dad, yeah. Uh, actually, he did that to me a lot. Yeah. Um, this, this, uh, he, he would sometimes do this to me when he's bored or just, I don't know why, but. Maybe you were in a good state. That's very likely. <laughs> um, yeah. What should it's, have you told them at that moment? It, it always seemed to be out of the blue. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, it's when you're open. Hmm. Receptive. It may even be when I was having a good connection with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you know you're a good student, what do you think of your teacher? He should give me an A plus. Yeah, you got it from him. Do <laughs> um, you still yeah. want to follow this teaching? No. Well, look what it's costing you. Fine relationships. This would always end up. Uh, that this would most often end up in him beating me up. That's it. Because I, mm. he would he would do that to me. Yeah. And then I would like do it back. I would jab him back, and he didn't like that. And then he'd give. And then he he'd go harder. Yeah. And then fight. He would beat me up. Yeah. That's what this is. It's an invitation to fight. An invitation to fight. Well, then drop you lose the thing you love. Holy crap. Yeah, an invitation to fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you have to look forward to that, to see what happens the next time, right? You see that they're in a good place, and you have to, the slightest tendency of this, you have to grab onto. You can even talk about it. What? Okay. Like hey, with you the know, hey, you know what? My past is at this point, I should kind of put you down. I don't want to do it. Or, you know, you can put it in words. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay, good. good, good. Thank, Thank you. you. We were going to do something tonight. Yeah. I. I, 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 I